Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to see the software testing interview questions asked at ERA Technology and what are the various rounds that uh, uh, you can expect when you are going to get interviewed for the software testing position in this company. Now this is a Pune based company, but before jumping to this, I would like to show you about the playlist that I have created on my channel which consists of the various interview questions along with answers asked at various companies like Amazon is there, then uh, IBM, l and Infotech, Accenture, Capgemini, Paytm, MDocs, Flipkart, Tech Mahindra. So these are all the various uh, questions that I have captured and these are the recent interview, recent testing interview questions that has been captured over here. So uh, when you go to the channel RD Automation Learning, so you'll get a playlist over there of top MNC company automation testing and manual testing interview questions. So please, please do refer these questions as you will get an idea of what kind of testing questions are asked. Okay, now let's switch to ERA technology. Now this is a company which is based out of Pune and as it's a pandemic time so you will uh, get all sort of you know online virtual interviews only so uh, it is not expected for you to go in person and give the interviews over there now the very first round will be on the aptitude test again uh, the test aptitude test can be there for the people who are having less experience if you are having more experience of three plus years then you can expect a test with uh, kind of arrays, string manipulations, all those kind of concepts you can expect in a test. And yes, it would be a MCQ based test and you won't be expected to write any kind of uh, coding in coding programming questions. You uh, cannot be expected in this round one. Now coming to the next round, that is the technical round. In technical round, what you what what kind of questions you can expect over here is they'll ask you about the basic testing questions like uh, and and the scenario based questions like let's say if you are finding a bug in the production but uh, in the development you didn't find that defect so how will you overcome what will you do so how will you answer the client at that time okay. Then they can ask you like on the last day of the uh, release, you are getting some defect. So how will you approach the development team? How will you approach the QA leads? And how will you convince them if it's a high severity, high priority issue? Why and how it should be fixed? Next is let's say if that defect gets fixed. Okay, then what all things you will test? Whether you will test all the things or you'll be just testing the things that are you know, touching that development, recent issues that has been fixed. So your answer should be based on root cause analysis that I'll ask developer to mention the root cause analysis and the impact of the defect. Okay. And based on that, I'll do the testing. So these kind of scenario based questions, basically you can expect in the second round. Now, if it's an uh, manual testing interview, then it is fine. But if it's an automation testing interview, then they will certainly ask you about the selenium questions. Okay, so you can expect selenium based questions in this and uh, their, their main focus uh, would be on how will you react under certain circumstances, under certain situations. So you have to be very calm and composite while giving the answers. You uh, have to, you know, uh, you should not panic in those situations like, uh, oh, now this, has happened. So what should be your reaction? So you have to be very calm. This is what, you know, uh, I got the feedback. The third round was on the projects. And again, it will be based on Java and test ng automation. And yes, you'll get some Java programming coding questions you can expect in round number three. Okay. So they might ask you to write a Java program to share the screen and write some Java program or they might ask you to give the logic on the fly like how will you approach in this uh, situation or what would be the logic that you will you are thinking if such sort of Java program is given to you okay 
then you can expect some questions on test ng as well like uh, they can ask um, how how can you set the priority in test ng or what if the what if i want to run only my failed test cases via test ng so what is the setting in that what is the advantage of test ng or what is the priority in test ng what will happen if two test cases are having the same priority what will happen if the one of the test cases having the priority another test case is not having any priority and then you can also expect the questions on your projects so let's say if you are an experienced person and you are working in some company so they'll ask you all sort of projects like what is the domain of that how many test cases do you write which are the important defects that you found out that were so at that time you have to answer the defects that were more pertaining to the that were more touching the business aspect of the application okay don't um, tell the examples like you found out some spelling mistake or some uh, like the link is not working which has not been used by the, which is not going to be used by the customer so he, let them hear what they want to hear okay so you can tell about the critical aspects of the projects and how how much critical was your contribution to that project and how well uh, you know you contributed and you gave the output so you can give the all those kind of answers in the project re project related questions the last round will be the round 4 in which uh, they are basically dedicatedly going to ask you about the queries so they'll ask you to write a query on inner joins outer joins uh you know and they might ask you to think from the another perspective as well let's say if you have found out some query for their question so they'll ask you is there any other way to get to the same point okay so they'll try to confuse you and they'll basically they want some two or three solutions from your side for that particular problem statement okay so uh, this this is going to be the hiring pattern if you are going to give the testing interview at era technologies which is based out of pune okay so there so to summarize there will be four rounds first round will be the common test round the second third and fourth round will be the technical rounds total technical rounds okay so uh, please be prepared if you are going to uh, you know get interviewed at this company it's a very good company and uh, currently work from home is going on as it's a pandemic is going on and uh, once once this things get settled down you might be called for called for working from office but as of now work from home is there and you can visit the careers uh, web page of this company itself and you will come to know about uh, the various openings over there so let me show it to you if uh, you know, so there is one position of software engineer in test it's a full time position it's not a contract based position and they are looking for a manual as well as automation qa engineer okay who has worked on manual testing as well as got knowledge of test automation along with that they also need someone who can create test strategies and plans okay so so this kind of opening are there so please please do apply over there and uh, prepare in this manner so your chances of getting selected will get increase and thank you for watching this video stay tuned for more updates